I'm here with Dr. James Garbutt, who's done a, an analysis of the literature, the world literature on responses to naltrexone and alcohol dependence. Dr. Garbutt, what did you survey and, and what did you find? Well, our primary interest was to understand are there certain kinds of patients who respond to naltrexone and who these patients have alcohol dependence. I mean, we know a number of things. First is that naltrexone is effective medication alcohol dependence, but it doesn't work for everyone. Some patients have robust responses, others don't have a good response. So the question is, who are those patients that have robust responses? So what we did is we, we looked at the world's literature for predictors of response to naltrexone, and then we kind of brought it together. And what we're showing here is that we have uh, a number of factors that have been identified associated with response to naltrexone. The ones that have the strongest signals were a positive family history of alcoholism, being male, and something called the ASP40 polymorphism of the mu opioid receptor, and that just means this person has a different mu opioid receptor. And so those all suggest to some extent that the person may do better on naltrexone, but very important point is that the evidence isn't strong enough to advise a clinician with any of these factors to say, yes, you can use this to decide which patient to treat with naltrexone. We're just not quite there yet. We're still early on in the field. We need better trials, better prospective studies. Are there any populations that you essentially ruled out that naltrexone doesn't seem to work well in? No, I would not say we know enough to say do not try naltrexone in this person. I think if someone has alcoholism or opioid dependence, they probably are worthwhile trying out naltrexone and to see if it's going to be helpful. Okay. Now, you're saying that the being male seems to have a it seems to be a predictor for response to naltrexone. What is it in the female population that that we're not seeing in terms of response, or, or do we just not have enough data? We don't know because, I mean, I think there's uh, there's not enough evidence to say that women do not respond to naltrexone yet. There have been some trials where that's been the case, but not all trials. And many of us clinically have seen women do well on naltrexone. So we're still really learning, you know, quite a bit about the gender difference and what, what's important there. Okay. Are there any differences between pre- and post-menopausal women in terms of response to naltrexone? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.